Inspiration is everywhere here. I always feel inspired in this kind of environment. One of the most important things that I've noticed since moving back here is the effect that living here and kind of being surrounded by the landscape here, my family, my friends, like what effect that's had on my creative process. I moved back to the Isle of Lewis when lockdown happened. I thought that I would be home for maybe a couple of months and we're now over a year down the line and I'm still here and I'm happy to be here, which I wasn't expecting. When I lived in Glasgow, I found it quite difficult to get inspired sometimes. I found urban environments they just didn't tick my box in terms of what I wanted to make work about. It was when I came home that I realised how much easier it was to make work. I was kind of constantly coming across things that inspired me because the things I like are in abundance here. Christianity and the kind of Presbyterian interpretation of Christianity is very much in island culture. It, it was of no surprise really that I was a Christian growing up. I was a committed Christian up until my second year of university, I think, and I deconverted then. I just started asking questions and couldn't believe what I was believing anymore. It just kind of didn't make sense to me. So I decided to walk away from, from that faith and it does leave a gap when your whole worldview is based on something. Walking away from that can feel quite difficult sometimes when most people, you feel like most people around you believe what you believed or interpreted, interpreted faith in the way that you used to interpret it. My first body of work out with uni is a series called Guardians, um, where I made five masks that were kind of brought to life through photos. Um, so I ended up with five characters and they were all based on different values or different beliefs that I kind of wanted for myself, I suppose, just positive messages, positive values. I really enjoyed the mask making process because you get into flow when you're mask making and you were just kind of meditating on what that mask meant to you and I was like yes this is something that I want for myself this is something that I'm choosing for myself so the first mask I made in the series was this plain white one who is the the new guardian he was all about just having a new slate a new identity so that's why I really wanted him to to be plain I moved on to the Pentland Guardian. I was reading a book at the time which was called Women Who Run With Wolves and it was just all about women kind of embracing a wilder side of themselves, which having gone through the kind of deconversion journey, that was something that I kind of really wanted to force myself into, just being like a bit louder, a bit more confident. The next mask I did in the series was the Armoured Guardian who is made from tree bark. And it was pretty much just about resilience. Get back up, try, continue to try. Like failure will happen, but get back up. After that, I made the Wandering Guardian. I really like that mask. It's just all about being playful and being curious. Just follow your curiosity and follow the things that you, you want to do, the things that excite you after that was the light guardian so that one was all about light at the end of the tunnel i think that was a good one to end on actually because i feel like all the other kind of values can can be applied to the idea of light at the end of the tunnel like everything that you've learned everything that you want just keep applying it keep going i think it was a very important project for me to do because it was just kind of bringing closure i think to the whole experience of having deconverted and then becoming the person you are now. These are attitudes that I think is really important for my creative process. 
I used to be really scared of the idea of failure and making work that was bad, that it actually got really difficult just to pick up a camera and do anything. I think since I kind of let go of that fear, it actually created the space for me to just have the most fun. And I think it's the strongest body of work that I've ever made.